Oh man, I am so excited to uh, talk about this song today. Uh, this song is actually in uh, seventh time, which is a little bit different than uh, the typical 4-4 time signature you see, and I really love songs that have weird timing in it, but the uh, cool thing about this song is, it has that seventh time, but you never know it, because this song is so familiar to you, it's like, gotta be one of the most uh, recognizable bass lines in all of uh, modern music, so. You'll be able to play it just because it's familiar and you remember it, but you're actually playing in seven time and you don't even know it. So let's get right to it. Um, although I wanted to say before I forget, if you click right down there on the YouTube text box, uh, you'll be able to get a couple videos that aren't on YouTube at all. They're uh, lessons. There's a uh, beginning lesson, uh, intermediate, and also a uh, advanced lesson for bass. So um, if you want to take a look down at my hands, uh, the normal riff to this song, the one that's in seven time, not the whole song isn't in seven time, some of it's in uh, four time, um, it starts off with a pattern that's like a chord, this right here. The whole thing is... So the way to play that is put your pointer finger on the second fret of the A string. And then you're going to put your pinky, I use my pinky, I think this is how most, most people play it, but uh, feel free to do it however you want. Next, um, put your pinky finger on the fourth fret of the G string, and then your ring finger on the fourth fret of the D string. So that gives you... And well, you're going to go back to also putting your pointer back on the second fret of the A string, you get... Then put your pointer on the second fret of the E string, and then put your pinky on the fifth fret of the E string, and then put your pointer on the second fret of the A string, and then put your pinky on the fifth fret of the A string. So all together, that is. It's a little bit of a challenge not to play this uh, song faster and faster if you're not playing with, with other people. Uh, with other musicians. Um, it's a real plodding, slow kind of pace. So I usually suggest uh, when you play this to uh, keep a part of your body moving if you want to bang your head or tap your foot, whatever it is, just to keep that time up. Or even better yet, use a metronome. There's another part of this song um, that's kind of, it's really weird if you want to count it, uh, but it, it, let me just teach it to you, like just like you're adding something onto this, uh, the signature riff of this song. So basically, it sounds like this. So the way to play that is you're playing the the signature riff, and then you're gonna put your finger back onto the. Um, uh, your pointer finger on the second fret of the A string. So it's like you're starting a new measure, but you're really not, because then you're going to put your finger on the, um, sorry, your pinky finger on the fifth fret of the A string. So it goes. And then put your pinky, or I'm sorry, pointer finger back on the second fret of the A string. And then your pointer finger on the second fret of the E string. And of course the pinky on the fifth fret of the E string. Pointer on the second fret of the uh, e, uh, A string. Pinky on the fifth fret of the A string. Altogether that's. And then it goes back right into the. The next part of this song is the is the coolest part. Um, has a little bit of a descending bass line, and um, just to throw this in, actually, uh, th that signature riff is based on a uh, on a chord. That's actually a, a power chord. Um, it, would your your pointer finger is playing the root um, uh, and when you place it on the uh, second fret of the A string? It's actually playing a B power chord, so that's the you're you're actually playing the root, the octave, and the fifth. If you played it all together, it would sound like that. So 
So, you know, this, this song has elements, uh, different elements that you could actually learn from. It's got a little chord, chord progression in it, it's got, or chord pattern, it's got some of the blues, and it's got different, uh, different time signatures. So the, the next part of this song is the coolest part, like I said, and the way it's going to sound when it's in the song is like this. So the way you're going to play this is you're going to start on, with your ring finger on the fourth fret of the um, D string and you're gonna hang on that note a little, little longer than you might suspect so it's gonna sound like this and then you're gonna hit it again and then you're gonna hit the with probably your same finger uh, you can or you could use your your, your pinky here and your um, ring finger I like to use my um, ring finger for both so you're gonna play next the uh, fourth fret of the A string with your ring finger, and then go back down to the second fret of the E string with your pointer. So it looks like this. And again, if you're going to keep a part of your body moving during this song, you'll know that you keep it on there for an extra beat. So it's. Then put your pinky finger on the fifth fret of the E string. And then you're going to put your uh, ring finger on the fourth fret of the A string. And then your ring finger on the fourth fret of the D string. And this is the cool part, the descending bass line. So you already put your uh, ring finger on the fourth fret, then you're going to go with your middle finger on the third fret, and then pointer on the second fret. And then you're going to play the second fret of the A string. Um, but what that really does, what it sounds like to me is almost like a, a muted note or a ghost note. You just play it for a second. So it sounds like this. Because then you're going to go to the awesome low E and then just play that open. And then you're going to play the uh, third fret of the E string with your middle finger. Um, and then the fifth fret of the E string with your pinky, second fret of the A string with your pointer, and then fifth fret of the A string with your pinky. All together. And then it's going to go right back into the normal rep. That's pretty much it. Those are the three things, uh, three major parts of this song. Um, during the, the solo, we play some different stuff that, that you'd figure out. You can figure out yourself. But um, anyway, thanks for listening. And um, if you like these uh, t tutorials, please um, subscribe to Finbar Bass. There's going to be a lot more coming up. And oh, don't forget, uh, you can click on the link right down there in the YouTube text box to get uh, some lessons that aren't on YouTube at all. Thanks, and have fun.